All right, Fishaholics, welcome back to another video. Just loaded up the new Breakwater 12. Finally, today is the day for this new kayak's maiden voyage. And you know what? We're also gonna be kayaking about two nautical miles out that way to that landmass, which is a private island. And we're gonna fish there for the first time. So new kayak, new spot, new haircut <laughs> since COVID. And uh, yeah, let's uh, quit talking because it's already like 4.30, almost five o'clock, I think. So uh, we're gonna have to try and get there as quick as possible. And I'm hoping we'll get on like a nice little dusk bite of um, whatever's willing to bite. So let's get out there. All right, let's start this adventure off. So uh, I thought I was recording when we first hopped in the kayak and uh, put the drive in, but I uh, forgot to press the button. But this is the drive right here. Really large fins, fits right in there. And then there's these two little pegs that you slide over the uh, drive brackets and that's how it gets locked in there. And I'm liking it, it's really, really smooth and uh, it tracks a little bit uh, different than my previous uh, Hobie Outbacks. That's like my main pedal kayak that I've been fishing in the last like, you know, bunch of years. And uh, our Lawrence Hook 4 is working well. So uh, basically I took this uh, unit head off of my other kayak and uh, basically just over the last like two weeks kind of assembled the different components that I needed to just power it on this kayak instead of having to buy like a whole another unit uh, which would have been like a few hundred dollars so to get this rigged up on this kayak it only cost me about 100 150 so uh, being that I'm a college graduate and in debt I'm trying to save as much money as possible and uh, we've got uh, a pretty long trek ahead of us so what uh, I'm thinking we should start with here is uh, a little tube that I actually made up, uh, you know, with some latex tubing, wire, a little gami hook, and a barrel swivel. And then we got about a four to five foot section of 30 pound fluoro, little uh, barrel swivel, a bead, and an egg sinker to get it down. And we're gonna probably troll 90, 95% across, all the way across this channel here. Oh, oh, real nice mark right down there on the bottom. We're about 16, 17 feet of water. Really looking good. <laughs> so we'll drop this down, you know, probably about, uh, 30 to 50 yards though behind the kayak and uh, we'll troll our way across and see if we can find any stripers of blues and then once we get there we'll probably switch it up and really start fishing the structure. All right that should be good right about there and uh, today we've got about like 10 mile an hour east winds and I'm really liking how this kayak kind of cuts through this little bit of chop we have. Uh, I was kind of on the fence whether or not we were going to launch if the wind was any stronger than this because, you know, it's a new kayak. I'm not really sure how it's going to handle. And I didn't want to say, like, of course, launch in, like, a bigger body of water than, than this. This is up here in the sound. So uh, I figured this would have, you know, is a good shot to try something different uh, in a different kayak. All right, so it's dropped off to about 19 feet of water and just had a nice mark there on the screen about 10 feet down. Definitely uh, in that zone that we're fishing. I'm not really fishing too close to the bottom, kind of just like mid-water column. And uh, yeah, if we pull this by, whatever that was, it looked like a bass or a blue. I'm sure uh, they'll take a look at it. The main bait right in this area right now is primarily sand eels with um, some occasional adult bunker, but uh, this little tube should imitate uh, a nice little sand eel perfectly. Oh, fish on, booyah. There we go. First hook up in the new kayak on the troll. Really surprised we just got bit too because I'm in about 27 feet of water and this bait is probably only getting down about, you know, 15 max. So this fish was probably just suspended. Oh, we lost them, I think. Yeah, we lost them. Oh, no. Dang it. Felt like a pretty decent fish too, but for whatever reason, he just came off the hook. I don't see any teeth marks and this is a new tube. So that was probably a nice, uh, like medium sized bass. Let's drop it back down there. He was just suspended here, I guess, in like 27 feet of water. Pretty cool. All right, well, I would say we are about probably three quarters of the way there. I'm finally starting to be able to see some shoreline structure and uh, I would give it like another 20 minutes or so and we'll probably start to see this bottom climb up a little bit and uh, we'll be able to fish along that edge, you know, trolling or uh, probably casting along some of the shoreline structure. 
All right, well, we just about made it. I can finally see some detail of the shoreline for the first time ever. And I would say since I started kayaking, I've been wanting to kayak on, along the shores of this private island. And finally today we're doing it, so I'm stoked to see uh, what we can catch, if we can catch anything. So it's quarter after six right now. And you know, I'm seeing a nice juicy looking salt pond on the map on the south end of the island. So we're gonna probably head in that direction. Okay, so there's a nice little creek mouth right there. Juicy looking boulder. We'll take a nice close swing by. Definitely gonna have to cast some plugs around this. And wow, nice mark on the screen here. We're only about six feet of water. We'll take a pass here and see if we can get them to eat. If not, we might have to swing back around and start throwing the plugs. All right, well, we tied on our spook, but uh, yeah, check this out. <laughs> That's, this is all what that little tube did. It twisted up our main line. I guess our barrel swivel must have gotten clogged up with some weeds and didn't do its job. So we're gonna have to pull off a lot of this twisted line. All right, we're ready for action. We're gonna start throwing this spook right around this boulder and this little creek mouth or little inlet, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if anything's home. Hmm. All right, well, unfortunately, not even a swirl on the spook. So we're gonna clip this off. And I'm gonna try tying on just a little soft plastic like this little finesse fish on a, I believe, 3 8 ounce jig head. And I'm gonna go back out by that boulder and try with this around there. Hmm. All right, no bites on the finesse fish. So I'm thinking, let's bust out the fishaholic finback shad and try this. So it's strange, you know, I'm marking fish here, but they didn't want to eat the top water, they didn't want to eat the finesse fish, but uh, maybe they'll eat the shad. There's one fish on. Uh, it doesn't feel like something we want though. Oh no, no, not the first catch of the new kayak, <laughs> a sea robin. Dang. All right, well, it's a bite. <laughs> All right, let's uh, clip this fishaholic shad off real quick. And I'm gonna throw on, I think just a little popper, like this little smack it here. And we'll go up inside as far as we can into the salt pond and just see if we get any reactions with this bait. Oh, this looks pretty good in here. It's really shallow, but stripers sometimes like cruising into real shallow stuff, especially if the bait is in here. Oh, there's one right there. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hope you guys saw that. That was sweet. Oh, and he had a follower. Some nice little stripers in here. This is exactly what I was hoping for. current right here so this really isn't a trophy like you can see but it uh, is a start there he is and there he goes all right well, let's see if there's any other stripers oh there's another one come on back come on come on Crazy, these fish 
are in probably like less than a foot of water here. But they're just sitting in this current looking for something to eat. There he is. Boom, that one nailed it. Whew. That was sweet. A little bit bigger one it looks like. But you know, same class size of fish. It's a little bit deeper right along this sod bank. So that's why they're hanging there. And the smack it never fails, you know? There he goes. What I'm talking about. <laughs> he splashed me from there. Oh yeah. He's using that current to really pull. So sick. This is a nice little bite I wanted to get on. Alright, we got him. And this right here is why we kayak fish. So that we can get to fish like this, or sometimes even bigger, and fish areas like this where others can't get to. All right, let's try taking off the popper now, and I'm gonna switch back to the finesse fish, but on a Texas rig. All right, let's give that a try. There we go, on the finesse fish. This is so fun. Look how shallow we're fishing. Less than a foot of water. These stripers are just coming up and nailing baits near the surface or on top. Got popped off, released himself, but it's all right. I keep having to unwrap my tip because this line is so twisted. Let's see if there's another one right where that guy was. Oh, hanging right where his buddy was. There he is. Boom. It's a real little one. Now, I'm just having a blast out here this evening. This is great. Fishing untouched waters, catching fish. There's, oh gosh. In you come, buddy. There we go. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this little guy nailed it. <laughs> they seem so much bigger than they actually are because this is how hard they hit it. This guy got hooked kind of weird. Oh. All right, well, pretty sweet, but I think that is about it for this little spot. So now the current just pushed us way up inside this salt pond now, and it looks so good. I wish we had more daylight. Uh, to like explore around here, but um, you know, it is what it is. And being that it's the first time here, we came a long way to get here. And you can see that sun is, you know, almost hitting the horizon. We're gonna start paddling our way out, which is gonna be a workout because the current is still uh, coming in pretty strong. And uh, we'll get back out to that area where we started fishing and we'll go along the main shoreline of the island and I don't know, troll around, throw some plugs along some good looking structure and see if we can uh, get a few more, but uh, 
day totally made. <laughs> it was sweet to uh, come to an area that we've never fished, only seen on a map, and uh, to get on a little bit of a bite. So pretty cool. Let's uh, keep on moving. All right, well, we made it back out by the mouth. That was a little bit of a workout. I'm gonna try throwing back on the Fishaholic Shad. Now let's just take a couple casts around this boulder. Maybe something will be chewing now that it's getting later. Really surprised, not a single fish on that boulder. So uh, I guess we'll start trolling back to the north, kind of like where we started when we crossed over. And uh, we'll throw this shad out and troll in that direction. Now I'm hoping, being that we're out here on the main body of water, I would think that this will be our best shot at a larger fish. So all we need is just one nicer, bigger bite, and that would make this outing like a whole lot better. Oh, fish on. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Feels kind of funny. Might be a robin. Yep, a robin. All right, well, unfortunately, I think that might be about it because we're gonna start losing the film with daylight really quick. And uh, I'm super stoked. We made the trek over here to an area that I've been wanting to fish since I was a little kid, like looking on a map and just like wondering like how good it could be over here because it just looked so good. And uh, we didn't get on anything crazy, but we did get on a nice little bite. And come to think of it, our best bite though was on the way over here. So definitely a lot more potential out there as as there is as, as much potential here. So uh, we still probably have got like 99.9% of this island left to explore. So uh, be sure to hit that like button if you wanna see me come back or if you enjoyed the video and as well subscribe to keep up to date. And I'll put all my kayak rig down in the description below as well with the code so you guys can save some money if uh, you're interested in picking one up. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's about it. So we're just gonna start pedaling out there into the sunset and uh, hopefully, hopefully we make it back all right. But uh, thanks for watching and like always, live to fish, fish to live.